vulnerable and, and sort of open about sure. his emotions in relation to the place because he was really their first star. Uh, yes, he is the first one that they, they had managed, that, right? that they managed and did the production deal it was, with. It's sort of a heartbreaking story, but yes. when you get into the studio with him to play that song, like you could just tell it's like I still got it in me. Well, here's the thing: is that I think you know Rick's story is Rick Springfield's story is um, different than everyone else's because had that whole general hospital thing not happened, yeah, I think people would have. Th- thought of him in a different way you know he was as sort a of pop star as opposed to like yeah, well i mean pretty i think or... that he was he was sort of um seen as a pop star you know he's a rocker mm-hmm. like deep down that guy's a fucking rocker he was playing and great he sounded great in that dude you should fucking i mean you know we're gonna do these shows do you know about the shows we're doing I, well, we'll talk about the album and the shows okay so but... anyway but when we jammed with him yeah um it was he has the enthusiasm of a 16 year old kid he rips guitar just like any other fucking rocker you've ever met in your life. And when he does it, he does it for real. Yeah. So, you know, because he had these these real pop hits, I think people think that it's in some way like it doesn't hold as much weight as someone like uh, Petty or Fogarty. But you know what? I don't know if I agree with that, because when you listen to the songs that he love is all right or. Jesse's girl. Uh, Jesse's girl. Uh, there's another. Kind of like, I've done everything for you, dude. That is a buzzcock song. Yeah. Listen to that song. The structure and yeah. the melody and the arrangement. It's a fucking buzzcock song. It's so hard. They to had do. different haircuts, right. but it's the same, same fucking drive. music. Yeah. So when you listen to it now, like I swear to God, yeah. if he re-recorded these songs with the Foo Fighters today, you would hear it on K Rock. Yeah. It would be fucking on K Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be. Yeah. And and because it's it's because there's there's it's this. It, as musicians, yeah. what we all do comes from the same place. Might have a different name, might have a different haircut, whatever the fuck, but it all comes from the same place. And so that's what why place? when I talk about from that that it comes from the garage. It yeah. comes from being the kid that bought a guitar at a yard sale. Yeah. It comes from raw being, honesty. It's a, like it's it fucking sh- well, it yeah. should be like yeah. that's that's it. And so that's rock and roll, right? 